Each year, Bell Shakespeare invites 30 teachers from regional schools across Australia. The first group has arrived in Sydney for four days to immerse themselves in all things Shakespeare. So welcome to the State Library. I'm a curator here. We've got a lovely tour of our little Shakespeare room. I haven't taught that much Shakespeare in the past, um, a little bit here and there, but it can be quite intimidating, particularly for new teachers. So come on in. Because it seems so highbrow, because it's Shakespeare and we all believe, you know, he is the greatest playwright of all time. So there's this fear not only for the students, but for the teachers to approach the text. We're the only library in Australia to have a copy of all four of Shakespeare's folios. I have a love for Shakespeare, so having this opportunity and coming all the way from Townsville is just such a privilege. Aside from the Bible, it is considered to be the most influential book published in English. When you say, hey, we're going to do Shakespeare, they go, shoot me. Teachers in more isolated areas where you can't necessarily just grab your students and take them to the theatre and see something live. So you're trying to convey Shakespeare, which is all about performance, in the classroom. Move over to this big open space over this here. This intensive week this is about lifting it off the page groups. to make this alive for their students. You! Me, you, me, you. I'm scared me. to teach Shakespeare purely because I don't feel I know enough. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> you. I teach girls from Palm Island, the Torres Strait Islands, from Papua New Guinea, rural communities. I want to give the girls every opportunity that someone in Sydney might have. This is thy prosthetic eyeball. <laughs> By prosthetic eyeball, yeah. I thank thee. Hugh and I spend a short amount of time in classrooms. Uh, we're not actually teachers. We're giving ideas from our experiences yes. and being professional actors That's and working right. with the text that way. You can Google Shakespeare insult generator and you'll find this list. Toad spotted whoremaster. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh! Thou puny plume plucked pigeon egg. Oh! Great to be challenged and to think about how I am actually delivering and teaching Shakespeare. I had a teacher this morning say it's hard enough to get her kids to imagine life in Sydney, let alone imagine life in Verona. We currently run a um, Romeo and Juliet in a romance unit, so the girls are actually really intrigued, but they also approach it with trepidation because of the language. Are we going to go, like, ask for someone for a dance or...? Studying Romeo and Juliet, young love and clashing cultures, particularly with our Indigenous groups in school, really find some value in that because there'll be family feuds and kids want to be friends but they don't think they're allowed. So being able to approach it through an artistic lens opens us up to conversations that we might not normally have. You come in a little bit closer, the tension is building a little bit. We're out in the street. Tensions have built to the point where we're hurling abuse at each other, but it's about to come to blows. You're heavy as lead, so you're super slow motion, but you want to land a punch on your opponent opposite you. Go, slow motion, super slow motion. That's it, super slow motion, good. And freeze! This is an excellent opportunity to start to talk about the story of Romeo and Juliet. Now imagine that it's Sunday morning it's the middle of summer, potentially in a small country town in Australia, potentially, potentially in Verona, in Italy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, if we were just to choose somewhere random. From either side of the street, you're looking at your sworn enemy. Now, the irony, of course, is it's Sunday morning. Where have you all just been together? Church. You've just been in church. <laughs> you've been in church together, and as you've spilled out of the church, tensions have boiled over, and you've started to beat each other up in the middle of the street. There's something more powerful about the teacher doing it themselves because yeah. the students get to see their teacher, um, you know, pretending to be a character in the play or, or playing um, and being creative. And that, that actually changes the student-teacher um, yeah. relationship in a really positive way. Uh, this is your, your version of Juliet, the beautiful 13-year-old Juliet. But there were moments where and I was going, oh, my God, I get it now. And... You don't get to have that moment as much once you're in a classroom. You're trying to inspire those moments in the students, but instead it's happening to you. Just to get Romeo's kind of sense of um, how he's feeling, can you be kind of like a sad tree? Yeah, cool. Like... It's empowering to have that feeling and also to remind you why you want to be a teacher and why you want to do Shakespeare. As much as anything else, 
It's having access to these exercises that is rejuvenating the enthusiasm of the teacher. Mm. And that's what's having the impact in the classroom. Stop! So if I was doing this with primary school kids uh, in role as Macbeth, I'd be Macbeth walking around and you're my soldiers. All right, go! Stop! What? Go! After seeing what the guys were doing today, seeing how physical they were and how active and engaging it all was. I'll certainly be more physical when I'm teaching it. One of the things I'm really interested is um, looking at hip-hop, how they link to Shakespeare and his works. Never was there a story of more woe than these two kids who didn't walk wisely and slow. What light through yonder window breaks? Two immature we kids have made heaps of mistakes. It's just amazing how you can live in an area and operate as a teacher but not actually connect with people in your, your local community that share the same passion and vision that you do. See, he's a Montague, she's a Capulet, and things get freaky straight after they met. He spins some rhymes on how she's fine. Oh, but what about your friend, Rosaline? Weren't you in love with her at the start? Or melancholy with your broken heart? Sitting in your room in darkness you drown. Juliet, he's just on the rebound. <laughs> But now I'm really racing and raring to go. I can't wait to get back to school and burst into the classroom and go, guess what we're going to do, kids? We're going to do some Shakespeare. And it's um, given me a lot of confidence and I'm extremely inspired.